So I am inside the home at Sirabi. And so far things look pretty good. It's got laminate flooring in here. And you can tell it's a little bit older, not super old, but uh, you can see, well, I'm being really nitpicky here, some slight rising in the floor. But once again, in, in, in a big scheme of things, there are worse things that could be wrong with the house, but looks like there's a little dirt there. You can see a little sun spotting right there. And you can kind of tell, but I mean, it's, it seems like a well put together house. It's not perfect. And something to talk about is, let's say we start at 320, escalate up to 330. You are protected by the appraisal. So just cause we, let's say they end up going at 330 for our offer, you're not stuck at that price if it appraises for less. But one thing that will make your offer stronger is if you do an appraisal gap coverage. So an example would be, let's say we end up, let's say we do an offer, start at 320, escalate to 330, and let's just say for simplicity's sake, our offer gets accepted at 330. And you put in the offer that you're willing to cover, let's say $4,000 of a difference between appraised value and sales price. That's gonna make your offer look much, much, much better than if we just do a traditional offer where you say just the normal price. So, because the seller wants to make as much money as possible and that's what's gonna separate your offer from other people's offers. So in our given scenario, if we come in at 330 in the end and the home only appraises, there's an air conditioning unit. Sorry, it's a little windy. So we're in at 330 and let's say you do a $4,000 appraisal gap coverage guarantee here so and if the home appraises at 310 and you do a 4,000 appraisal gap coverage the sales price will be 314 so whatever your appraisal gap coverage if it appraises for less than the sales price then the appraisal gap coverage would kick in then you would be responsible for cash at closing in that amount so if we're in at 330 if it appraises at 320 then the sales price would be 324 I don't know if that makes sense or not, but that's what a lot of buyers are doing on homes that get accepted offers. So I can definitely explain that more in person, but in a nutshell, you're guaranteeing to do $4,000 above appraised value if it appraises for less than sales price. So if we're at 330 and it appraises for 328, then you only have to do $2,000 for appraisal gap coverage. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but... That's kind of how that works. So this is a laminate flooring down here. It's a little bit dirty, you need some cleaning. But I would say the appraisal gap coverage is something that separates you from other people and offers, because anyone can offer a higher sales price. That, 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 that means nothing, honestly. Because I mean, a lot of people do escalation clauses, like what we're doing, starting at, starting at 320, going to 330. That's the escalation clause and anyone can do that. So that's not anything special. It's what extra things can you do with your offer to separate it from other people. So this is really good here. The, the furnace is six years old. That's probably the same age as the AC. Water heater, I don't see a sticker on it that says the year. I don't see the tag that says the year either. But that's something we could check on the department records. So it's nice, you have a newer furnace, which is good. That should be PEX tubing, but that's also why we have inspections done. The inspector checks all those details. So this is the laundry room right here. It's actually really nice having laundry in this location, especially if you have roommates, because you don't have to go into any, oh, here's a nice closet too. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place here. So it's nice having the laundry room here so it's not in anyone's living space and the people who are living downstairs don't have to go upstairs and so on. All right, I'll go downstairs. So down here, there's two bedrooms it looks like. So bedroom here, and I don't see any structural issues. I don't see any foundation issues. Usually you would see cracks in walls and things of that nature if there are issues, but I don't see any. 
So a good size closet. I mean, I think these rooms would rent out really easy to military folks. I really do. Another decent sized room and these windows are in good condition. Granted, it's once again why I do the inspection because I just do a quick seven minute walkthrough of a house. The inspector spends two and a half hours inside the house. So that's why you always get inspections. So once again, you were coming upstairs, then you got a nice three quarter bathroom here, which once again is good because people living down there can do all their business up here, shower and you know, whatever else. I don't know if I turned the light on here or not, but let me show you a little better view. All right, so laundries right there, utility rooms there, guest bathroom is here. Now we're gonna head back up. So in the kitchen area, you could easily put a table here that would fit four people. Once again, I don't know if I showed a good picture of these sinks or not. Things need cleaning, but overall they don't look in bad condition. I mean, this looks a little bit dirty, but it's obviously not new. I mean, the fridge, the fridge is a fridge. So this is a decent sized family room here as well. Then you also have the decent sized family room down there. So you got two living spaces. Then up here you got two more bedrooms. And they look to be about the same size. This one's got good closet space. Carpet looks decent condition. Lights look decent. Then here's the bathroom. Very similar to the one downstairs. This one has a bathtub. Flooring looks decent. Then you got the other bedroom. So, four bed, two bath. The layout is very conducive to roommates. Because the two bedrooms up here would share the bathroom up here. The two bedrooms downstairs would share the bathroom downstairs. So my overall feeling of this house is it does need a little bit of, well, I'm probably gonna say updating, just maybe some touch-up paint, because you can see they patched some holes, touched up paint themselves, but didn't quite match. But for the price of this home, even at 330, that seems pretty fair. And that's why you get the appraisal, as I mentioned earlier, is you're not stuck at that high sales price if it appraises for less, unless you do the appraisal gap coverage. But in that situation, it's a little different. So I will do a quick video of the outside area here, and then I will head on. So garage looks in good condition. Needs a little touch up paint here and there on the trim, but overall it's not bad. It's got a nice front patio, which is nice for package deliveries and stuff. So overall, the neighborhood is pretty great. As you know, you live in this general area. All right, so that's the video.